Hello guys and welcome to Coding Corbett. In this video, I will show you how to implement and consume REST API into your Flutter application. We will parse the data of the API into Dart models and then we will display it on the UI. Now we're not going to use it the easy way, just calling an API and returning the result. No, we will go over the best practices and you will learn how to implement it using best practices in Dart and the Flutter. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now, let's get started. All right, to get started, I've already created a Flutter application. Inside the main, I'm having material app and then home, home widget. Home widget doesn't have anything on the scaffold and text news article with center title. Now I've already created the design for the widget, article widget. I'm not gonna go over it. We will focus on implementing the API. Now in pubspec.yaml, I already added also JSON annotation and HTTP, these libraries we will be using. And I also added build runner and JSON serializable because we will use them throughout the tutorial. Now let's go to the browser. And I've already also created an account in this news API website. And let's have a look at the result we will get. We will first get status, then total result, then articles, and we will get the object of source that has ID and name, and then some attributes for each. And we will have uh, 38 of these. Now, as you can see, the API is has a get request, and it has these query parameters, which are the API key and country. So we will be using them. So let's go back to Android Studio and close this and inside the lib let's first create a new directory and let's call it static and inside it let's create a dart file and let's call it static values and in here we will create a class called static values and then inside it we will create this constructor and then we will create an api url and then we will create the api keys and then we will create the api country all right, now let's go to the lib again and let's create a new directory and let's create a directory called models and inside it let's create a new dart file sorry a new dart file and let's call it article underscore model now inside here i will actually paste the model instead of boring you and typing everything and before i do anything let me just show you i will take this and bring this and I will minimize the project. Now, you can see that we have status and total results and articles. Now, inside this model, we don't care about all of these. We only care about one object inside the articles. Now, we have the source, and the source is actually here. We have string ID and string name, and then we have the author. The author is here, and since the author might be null in some result below, the author might be null so i added json key default value unknown in case it's null because i was using it in the design and i have a title and description as you can see title and description and url the url is the article url and then i have url to image which i didn't like its name so i changed it to image url and then i added json key with name url to image and published that and content now we don't care if the content is null or published that so all of these are nullable ex except for the author and i also added a factory article dot from json and i created these two functions for each of these classes and i added also json serializable above them so let's just go back to android studio and expand the project so you could see a little bit better and now we have three errors. The first error is this error part and we added for the command that we will run. So it will create from JSON method for us, this method and this method as well. Now before we run that, I just want to say create to, just, to JSON to false because we're not gonna use to JSON in here. So I will add it inside here too. And to make this work, make sure that you have no error in the uh, Flutter project except for these three the part and these and these now go to the terminal and uh, type flutter pop run build runner build and hit enter it will work for a little bit of time and then it will generate these methods and you can see that it also generated this file this file hold these methods this is for 
article source and this is for the whole article and you can see that it immediately added uh, the unknown if it's null all right now our next step is to go back to the lib and create new directory and we will call this directory network now we will create a new file inside it we will call it query underscore param which stands for query parameters and here we will create a class called qp and then we will create a constructor so we can't initialize this class now after it will create static map string string and we will call it api qp now here this method should take required string and it should take the api key and it also should take the country so required string country as well okay and this returns a map which first has a country and inside here we'll provide the country then here we'll provide api key and let me just make sure that i wrote it right the api key so i will copy it from here and paste it here and here i'll provide the api key we've sent and just add semicolon here and that's it for this class all right now let me minimize this and let me close the model and close the static so now on we will focus on the network directory now we will create a new dart file and we will call it network underscore service now inside here we'll create a class called network service and this also shouldn't be initialized so we will say const network service dot underscore all right now the first thing we will do we will import http inside here http slash http dot dart and we will call it as http now first we will create headers and headers are also so we will create static map headers are also string string and we will make this method private so we will call it get headers it doesn't take anything however it returns only for now it will return content type which is application slash json oh, sorry all right now since we want this to be generic and we don't want to limit ourselves for the news api so we will create an enum sorry and we will call it request type and inside here we have get we have put we have post we have many more you can add whatever you want or what you will use in your application now we will create a generic method that holds all the api calls inside our application so we will create static and this is future and we will use http dot response and it might be null so we will make it also private and we will uh, call it create request now this request since we want it to cover all of the request type so first we will have required or before we do that let me just make them all name parameter so we will have required request type and we will call it request type and then we will have required as well uri the url we want to send to uri and then i won't make this required however we will also send if we want to we can send map string string and we can call them headers and this might be nullable and also since we want this to be uh, to cover other request types so i will also create uh, something here so i will create a map string body uh, sorry <laughs> dynamic and we will call it body and this is also nullable so we don't have to send it now let me just fix this all right now inside here what we will do we will check on the request type if request type is equal equal to request type dot get since we only have get in this application we will say http dot get and first we will pass the uri we've created and then we've sent sorry and then we will pass a headers which are the headers we sent now we will return this as well and now i will also I will actually copy this and 
I will I will not make it private. I will make a function called send request. And this send request takes request type as well and takes URI. Or we can send a string since our URL is a string. So let's call it URL. And we don't have to send headers. We might create the headers here. However, I will take string here and I will create query param. And instead of checking on all of these, I will remove it. And here we will create a send request. So this send request will call the create request. But this method is async. So I will add async here and I will make this also, this response also nullable. Now the first thing I will do, I will create final underscore headers is equal to get headers. And then I will create final URL is equal to, however, this time before we do anything, we need to, con to concatenate the query param with the URL we have. So we're not going to do that in here. We will actually create a new Dart file and we will call it network underscore helper. And inside here we'll create a class and we'll call it network helper. Sorry. And we want this to be also a static class. Now inside I will paste the method that will create all of that. We will call it concat URL QP. And then it takes a URL and it takes map string query parameters. Now we will check if the URL is empty. We will return the URL. Also we will check if the query parameters are empty. We will return the URL. Otherwise we will create a string buffer with the URL and also having a question mark because in the API link you can see that we have a question mark. Then we have the country which is equal to US. Then and API key which is equal to this key. Now let's come back here and then we will loop uh, for each uh, value inside this query parameter. We will first check if it's empty, we will return nothing. And if it contains a space, because it, it shouldn't contain space, we will throw an exception and valid input exception. Otherwise, if we don't have these two cases, we will write on the string buffer that we created. We will add to them key, which is the key, and the value, which is key equal to value. And then we will have and, and after it finish, we will get the result string buffer to two string normal string then we will return a sub string of this string of zero and result dot length minus one and we are doing that because the last item or the last uh, value in each uh, in the query parameter will have also this and and we don't want it so we will remove it by that now let's go back to the network service and we will say final url is equal to network helper dot concat QP, we will send the URL we have and we will send the query, sorry, the query parameters that we have. Now, after it, we will create final response is equal to create request. And inside here, we shall send the request type, which is request, which is the request type we have. And we will specify the URL. Now, URI is URI.parse the url we've created and concatenated and we will send the headers the headers we've created and here we don't have a body so that's it and we will add a weight here of course and also we will pass the body which is the body we've sent even if we don't have it in this uh, tutorial now after it we will just return the response and that's not everything we have to wrap this with try catch so inside the try we will do all of that and in the catch we will catch the exception and we will return first we will print error and we will print the error and then we will return null since this takes um, this is null a bit now that's it for this class so let's go back to the network helper and let's create the uh, other methods. Or before we continue with network helper, let's create a new Dart file and let's call it network underscore enums. And inside here, I will actually paste these. And here we have network response error type. We have socket, we have exception, we have response empty, and we have did, did, did not succeeded. And this could be from both UI or server. 
and then I created another enum which is callback parameter name which has all and articles now let me explain something now let's go back to the browser and by all I mean everything inside the, the whole response with the status with the total results with articles and by articles I mean only articles since when we want to parse the data from the API to Dart model we can't have status or total results or article we can only have list of articles so that's why I created all and I created articles and then I created an extension on the callback parameter name and it has a method uh, called get JSON. it takes json and if json is null it return null and otherwise we switch on this either all or article and if it's all we will return the whole json otherwise if it's article we will return json articles so we don't type that ourselves we will have it in separate file now also before we continue with network helper let's also create a new dart file and let's call it network underscore type def and inside here since inside network service we are actually returning the response and I figured something that we are not using this URL and we should be now we are returning this response and this response has body has a status code has everything and in network helper we're gonna decompose this response into whatever we want and then we will send it back however we're not always gonna send it back or we can leave it since we want this to be generic we don't want uh, we don't want to send it back ourselves we want uh, somewhere to have a callback so uh, we can decide there what to do with the return data so that's why I created network type dev and inside here I will paste the methods that we will be using the callbacks I created type dev network callback which returns r and its function dynamic it will actually have the json or maybe true false boolean whatever and I also created type dev network and failure callback with message which is also r and this has two things the network response error that we created and string maybe we pass also a message so we could know the error if it's socket error or exception or response empty or did not succeed it now that's it we can go back to the network helper and we can continue implementing it we will create a method that will hold all the api calls so we will create it at static and it has r so static we will call it filter response which also has r and inside here we will have required network callback and we will call it callback and we will also have required http we haven't imported http yet so let's import it import http http.dart as http now we will have http.response however this response might be null but we have to send that it send it and i will also have required we will say required network on failure on failure callback with message so i will call it on failure callback with message and then we will have required callback parameter name and we will call it parameter name and it shouldn't be required we can set it from here callback parameter name dot all as default and that's it now inside it we will have try catch block since we might have an error inside here however in the catch we will not print it this time we will return the on failure with uh, first we will have to specify the uh, type error so we will have it as network response error type dot exception and we can specify a message here saying exception exception with the e now inside here first we will check on the response if response equal equal null we will also return on failure now this time we will have network response error dot empty response and we can have a message as uh, empty response 
okay now we have to also check on the body so if the response is null or response dot body dot is empty so we will do that now below this since we are returning I will create var json is equal to json decode and we will decode the response dot body and now first we will check on the if response dot status code is equal to 200 which means we have successfully called the API and we have valid result or we have result from the API so first we will check if if this result is valid and to check if this result is valid we will, we're gonna have to create a new method so let's create bool and let's call it is valid response and it takes the JSON okay now inside here we can return json different from null and and json i think this was called result if i'm not mistaken no status if status is equal to okay so we will check on that so we will check on json status different from null and and json status equal equal to okay now this is enough because if we want to make this generic we have to uh, stay with this however if we want to make it uh, particular for this api or for this uh, result we have to also check and and if json articles is not null and i think that's all right now now inside here and we'll make this private in the in the network helper we only want the filter response to appear and concat UR. now here we'll check is valid is valid i don't know why it's not helping so i will copy it is valid and i will pass the json now if it's valid now i forget to add static and that's why it was complaining now it's if it's valid we will return callback however inside the callback we will say callback or parameter name actually dot get json with the json we have now that's not everything we also have to check uh, inside here i think if status or response dot status code is equal equal to 1708 i think this is a socket error so we will return on failure network error and we'll use socket this time now we don't have a message or we can just say socket okay and i think that's all for this method and that wasn't everything we just have to return error in case uh, we don't have any of these ifs so this error will be didn't succeeded and it's actually unknown so if we have this this means something is going wrong either on the api or our code now that's it for this network helper so let me close it and network service and query api network enums let me close everything i just want to have the article widget now inside here we will actually create final article and we will call it article and I will add it to the constructor and I will make it required now instead of having background color we will have background image first we will check on the uh, article dot image URL different from null if it's different from null we will have network image with the article dot image url and what's okay we have to remove this const and we have to unwrap this okay and otherwise we will just return null we don't want to have background image if is if, if, if the image is null sorry and then here in the text here we will have the author so article the title sorry here we will have the title and we will first unwrap it and 
here I think here we would have article dot author and just remove the const from here and have it for the text style instead and down below here we would have article dot source dot name and otherwise we'll just have nothing and just remove this const from here and have it here instead and have const here const here const here now we will have the const here actually we don't want it for the whole text now i'm not gonna here we will have publish at but publish at if i showed you i'm not sure you can see that we have publish at t and uh, the time we don't want the time we only need the date so i'll create here inside this build method i'll create final published at which is equal to article dot published at dot split and we will split on the t and we will take the first part and let's just have a question here now i will use this published at here otherwise i don't want to show anything and that's it for this widget now we have to go to the main and we have to implement a future builder so let's create it all right now in the body of the scaffold i will actually paste the future builder and i will have this and this so let me just show you what do we have here now we don't have yet this method get data we will create it in a while so we are checking on the snapshot if it's done and it has data we are having final list of articles from snapshot the data as list of articles and then we are having a list of view.builder and we are calling the article widget for each item in the list of view the builder and if it has error we are just returning center with column and icon and some text otherwise we are returning circular indicator progress indicator now let's create this method and this is future and let me just give you a little bit of space so you could see better all right this is future list of articles and it might be null as well so inside here we will say get data and it doesn't take anything now the first thing we will do we'll say final and this is async as well we'll say final response is equal to network network service dot send request now the request we want to send we want to have request type as request type dot get and the url we want to send it is static values dot api uh, url and then that's not everything we also have to send query parameters and query parameters we will send it as qp dot sorry qp dot api qp and we have to pass the api key which is static values dot api key and we have to send the country which is also static values dot api country and that's it but we have to await this as well now that's it we have the response and now if you want to we can print for example re sorry response dot status code we can do that but <laughs> better what's better we can say return network helper dot filter response and before we say what do we want with the, to do with the callback first the response is the response we've created the callback i will create it in a while now on failure it takes error type and it also take a message as a string now inside here we can return null and before it we can print it if you want but this would be duplicate however let's print it error type let's say error type and message is message and let me just fix this e all right now just have a semicolon here and i don't think we have to await this or we can okay now in the callback i will actually since this returns uh, a list and if we just send filter response with that we will have an error because the callback parameters or param name callback parameter name are actually all however we want it to be an article 
so now we can if you want to you can say json and you have access on the json you can print it however i don't want to do that i will actually create a new method inside here i will create list and this returns list of article and i will call it list of articles from json and this takes json and we will return we will say first json as list and then here we will have dot map and map e for each item inside this json we will return article article dot from json and we will pass the e and we will say as map string dynamic and just finally after it dot to list and that's it now instead of doing anything on the callback i will create this callback so now if we run it hopefully everything will work so let's turn on our emulator and let's run it and hopefully we don't have any error and we don't thankfully everything work fine and in a while it will load the network images and as you can see we have the title we have the author we have the name and we have the date and that's everything so thank you guys for watching and if you like the video make sure to subscribe and like and comment down below and i will see you in the next